Now's the time for cleaner indoor air with an air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. You've known us for carpet cleaning, but we've been cleaning air ducts for over 20 years. We do things the right way, cleaning your entire system. So if you need an air duct cleaning, call 1-800-STEAMER today. Join us live from the ultra-luxurious scenic eclipse because you could win your own luxury cruise along the South American coast. Watch for details and your chance to come aboard. Tuesday. After a few weeks of quiet calm, a street takeover early this morning through multiple intersections with drivers doing dangerous moves. And you can help save the lives of thousands of Colk that's coming up in entertainment. And while we're seeing some sunshine, many of you waking up to low clouds and fog and a chance of rain, but warmer weather is on the way. All of details coming up. The KTLA weekend morning news at 9 a.m. on this Sunday morning starts right now. Uh, good morning and welcome to the KTLA morning news at 9 a.m. I'm Pedro Rarey <laughs> from Mark Mester. That Fist pump got me. Well, that fist pump got you. Plus, you're typically on the what? This is where you shame On the evening. At uh, 5 o'clock, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m., watch. <laughs> and Karamo, the new show, debuts, which is your lead in. Debuts tomorrow. Debuts tomorrow. We're excited? so excited about that. Karamo, by the way, one of the nicest individuals you will ever meet. Uh, we're really rooting for him. He has a pretty cool show starting at 4 o'clock mm -hmm. tomorrow afternoon, and then you stay for the KTLA News at 5 with Cher and I. I've seen you and Cher in the promos, mm -hmm. and you guys have seen you like creeping behind him, which is so cute. I'm like, yeah. this was clever. I see what they're doing. If like, only you, you see the behind the scenes okay. they they had to control because we're talking we're like talking about our lives yeah. and everything they're like come on guys we gotta work <laughs> no i watched you closely i zoomed in you're just with a smile i'm trying to be like so karama he's a smooth guy he's so you know? cool speaking of i'm just i'm proud nice of you, you. Nice there you go. you. good to be with you friend all right let's get to some news here a man walking on the 110 freeway in downtown la was hit and killed by a vehicle early this morning the deadly collision was first reported around four in the morning north or excuse me around four in the northbound lanes near the third street exit all lanes of the 110 freeway were initially closed for the investigation. However, lanes are back open now. CHP is still working to find out why the victim was walking on the freeway. No injuries to any drivers were reported. <laughs> More street takeovers hit South LA streets overnight. This scene at midnight near Century of Figueroa. Several people blocked the intersection while drivers did donuts, and as you can see there, passengers even hang out of the window. Not too safe. The group then moved to the corner of Hooper and Gage to continue their antics here. No word on any injuries or arrests made, but LAPD does say that they are stepping up their efforts to address these illegal street takeovers, and they say anyone who's caught participating in one of these takeovers will have their car towed away. Developing news in Bell Gardens where one person is dead after an early morning shooting. It happened just after 1 a.m. Investigators say they received a call of shots fired in the 6,000 block of Live Oak Avenue. They found one person suffering from a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Authorities have not released a suspect description at this time. Anyone with information is urged to contact the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. The LAPD has released video of a deadly police shooting that left a man dead in Balboa, Lake Balboa last month. Take a look. It there. Body camera footage appears to show 24 year old Christian Gomez confronting an officer with a machete in the alley near Sherman Way and Lois Avenue. Officers open fire. You see Guzman then stumble forward, then collapse. He later died at a nearby hospital. The officer involved in the shooting remains under investigation. Firefighters in Orange County were able to put out a destructive blaze at an apartment complex yesterday before the flames spread to other nearby units. That fire broke out around three at a two story building along Village Drive and Lake Forest, just a few blocks away from the Arbor Shopping Center. Emergency crews were able to fight back the flames from the exterior and rushed inside to put out the last remaining embers. Two people treated on scene after they breathed in heavy smoke, but they're expected to be okay. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. A sewage spill has prompted officials to close a beach access in South Torrance this weekend. The move comes after samples taken on Friday showed bacteria levels exceeding state standards. Los Angeles County Public Health officials first closed Rat Beach uh, on September 17th earlier this month. 
ocean water use warnings for high bacteria levels have been issued in Santa Monica Pier, Santa Monica Canyon Creek at Will Willis Rogers State Beach near Tower 18 Pico Kenter Storm Drain at Santa Monica Beach and Mother's Beach in Marina Del Rey. An unprecedented summer storm is causing record flooding in western Alaska. Someone living in Nome, Alaska shot this footage of the water rising across his hometown. The icy waters pushed through the Bering Strait yesterday, flooding several coastal communities across Alaska. One home was even carried away on a river until it was stopped by a low hanging bridge. Wind gusts have hit 90 miles per hour and the water level rose to 12 to 18 feet above normal in some areas. No reports of any injuries or deaths due to this flooding, but Alaska's governor has issued a disaster declaration for several communities impacted by the storm. Closer to home right now, we're seeing what cloudy weather outside. Cloudy. We are seeing Ooh, some wind so gusts warm. though, and it's interesting. The wind gusts in the Antelope Valley are going to be half of what the 90. We're the talking 90. like mm. 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Which so nothing not like bad. That. Right. When you compare, not yeah. bad, ex not not bad at all, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> and now we're above the clouds, so there is some sunshine out there. It's trying to work its way through, but at least for now, we're seeing some low clouds and fog in many parts of the Southland. The Almanac showing a high of 77 yesterday, a few degrees below normal. That trend continues today and maybe early in the week before we'll see a warming trend. A cool and pleasant start to the day across the Southland. LAX 70 degrees. 68 Ontario, 69 Van Nuys, and Santa Ana, 72. Now, uh, there's a really significant